told that we had to do a writing demonstration of music, and that was my first time to do something like that, so I hope y'all like it. And now you know why the Hawaiian shirt. Uh, I will say uh, that Curly kind of came up lame on me here this week, and I don't know if she's here this morning, but Dr. Liz Waggis Pack did, there she did, she did some acupuncture on him Thursday, he's a bit better, but I forgot to butte this weekend, and so y'all might have noticed he was crossfire and wasn't going quite right to the left there, that's what that is, so I'm going to try to keep the rest of my ride tamed down just a bit to uh, not cause him any more damage than I need to. Uh, I think we're here primarily to give these demos and kind of talk about our philosophy about horses. Uh, my philosophy is maybe a little bit different than some others. I'm not quite as politically correct as some. And uh, with the whispering movement that's going on right now, I think the, the pendulum has swung a little too far in that direction. And we've gotten into what I kind of call the Disney version of horsemanship, where we uh, kind of treat horses in the same frame of mind that lions and gazelles enter into partnerships. And, uh, <laughs> I don't think that's quite how it really is. Uh, there's no kumbaya going on in the pasture or anything like that. Uh, in my mind, the man-horse relationship is an awful lot like a parent-child relationship. Uh, we're not at all equals. It is, in fact, absolutely key in the very beginning of everything that I become this horse's leader. Uh, I think that there's a whole lot of talk out there about uh, trust and patience and all. And this is a really good venue to discuss things like that. These colts that we're attempting to break here somewhat successfully uh, certainly require lots of time and patience and trust. Uh, I think the problem with that is that most of y'all aren't riding colts that aren't parcel broken and trying to stand up in the saddle and crack bull whips on them. Uh, most people have got an eight year old that they just want to trail ride on. Maybe he's a little bit disrespectful. 